Bill Nye the Science Guy creates an animation with an ice cream orgy to explain gay conversion therapy. Heineken creates a great commercial with a British trans woman. And the Thai BL drama, Two Moons the Series, gets a trailer. More on this in a second here at Court Fidacci. Hi, welcome to Queer Fidanchi, where I share LGBTQ and BL media through news, reviews, and good conversation. My name is Devin Jackson Randall, and today is Friday, which means it's time for the weekly update, where I share LGBTQ and BL media news. This could be anything from casting announcements to Hollywood to upcoming Kickstarters for BL games and more. So let's get started. Our first story is a follow-up of last month's story, particularly the story is following up the censorship scandal that YouTube had last month. A bunch of LGBTQ YouTubers discovered that their videos were being censored. Uh, YouTube has this kind of like censorship option that you can put on that will get rid of any mature or non-family friendly videos and YouTubers found that even if the videos were family friendly, things like sto stories of falling in love or proposals, anything like that, were getting marked as censored. And so of course YouTubers took a stand for that and they said, no, this isn't okay YouTube. And YouTube said that they would fix it. Well, a month later, it seems like they have. They have made an official statement saying that on the engineering side, we fixed an issue that was incorrectly filtering videos for this feature, and now 12 million additional videos of all types, including hundreds of thousands featuring LGBTQ plus content, are available in the restricted mode. So if you are looking for LGBTQ content and want to also be restricted from some of the scary events of YouTube, you can now do that. Next, in Bill Nye's new latest show, Bill Nye Saves the World, which is a Netflix original. You can go check it out on Netflix if you want. Uh, I don't know if it's in all countries, but go check it out, see if it's there. Anyway, for that show, he has a video clip trying to explain away the wrongs of gay conversion therapy, and he does that through using ice cream and then having them have an orgy. If you guys don't know who Bill Knight is, literally, I grew up on this man. He had, used to have a TV show talking about all kinds of different forms of science, right? Literally, I grew up watching those videos in my science classrooms all the time from elementary school to middle school. But anyway, this video that he had was once again trying to explain away gay conversion therapy. Uh, no thanks. He was trying to show that the vanilla character was the one trying to put the other flavors into just being vanilla you know, just being this one flavor. And he was saying things like, oh, you should just pretend until you are, or you should pretend for the great vanilla god in the sky, right? Which, you know, okay, I was with it, I was with it. And then later on in the video, the other flavors are like tempting vanilla. You're kind of projecting the very idea that people who are into gay conversion therapy are saying, you know? They tempted this vanilla to get into that bowl and have a, big orgy, right? That's essentially what it was. And I'm just like, no, no thank you. I appreciate your attempt. Still like you though, Bill. Still like you. You can check out the video, I'll have a link in the description below. Next, an Australian baseball player comes out to his mother on a reality TV show. Particularly, a TLC had a TV show called This Is Life Live. And in that show, different they have different people who go through these big moments in their lives. Particularly, this baseball player named Ryan Santana came out to his mother. And so he goes, I know you're wondering why you are here right now. You mean the most to me in the world. That's why it's so hard for me to tell you that I'm gay. And his mother responds. I'm not going to spoil that for you. Link in the description or go check out the actual episode. Next, RuPaul is getting a biographic comic. If you guys know, RuPaul is like the drag queen here in America. But anyway, she is going to be the topic for this anthology comic series focusing on the lives of female stars, female icons. And this series is called Female Force. It's published by Blue Water Productions. They're saying that the reason that he chooses his public persona to be as a female really shows just how much she is really trying to be her true self. And that's why they are totally cool with having this comic being about her. Some other people that these separate comics have talked about are Hillary Clinton, Michelle Obama, Cher, Oprah Winfrey, Madonna, JK Rowling, and so on. If you want to check out this comic, Female Force RuPaul, it'll be coming out in July. In October of last year, supermodel Andrea Pajik won the Female Model of the Year Award at the QC Portugal Awards. And it seems like they're not done with her because she has just been uh, put as the first trans model 
on the cover of GQ Portugal. And she, in addition to that, is getting a six page spread as well. So good for her. Next, Heineken has created a great commercial, Independent UK's uh, magazine is saying that it's like the anti-Pepsi commercial, which I very much agree. I don't wanna give it away too much, so go just check it out. Really, it's inspirational. I'll have a link in the description. Just go check it out. Next, the trans-focused film, Three Generations, has gotten a PG-13 rating. A couple weeks ago, I reported that they had actually gotten an R rating and that the production company, uh, Weinstein Co., was trying to fight that. Well, they ended up not actually taking it to a court case, but they did end up editing the film in order to get that rating down to PG-13. So now more people can go see it at younger ages. That's great. Lastly, for our queer quota, we'll be talking about Meraki. Uh, not a lot is known about it. They're promoting it as the Odyssey means Star Wars. Uh, you should probably know what Star Wars is, but if you don't know what the Odyssey is, it's a very historic text about a Greek man named Homer who goes through a bunch of trials and tribulations uh, trying to get his way home. He meets a cyclops, uh, all kinds of things. Where's that the Iliad? I always get them confused. English degree. The only story they're releasing so far is that the lands of Balin have turned dry, suffering from an extreme drought. Desperate for water, Sai and her team are forced to travel to Junipar. When the elder, the village elder, refuses to help the and marauders attack, will Sai order her team to fight or let the village burn? That's really all they're saying for the story so far. We know that the main character Sai is a lesbian character. Uh, I think it's interesting enough to look into, and it's extremely cheap. They're only saying that if you pay six dollars, you get a digital copy of the comic. Uh, this is the first comic in what's supposed to be a series now, uh, but. In addition, you can pay $7 for a physical copy. Uh, that's extremely cheap, guys. Go check it out, please. Go back it. Now onto our BL bits, our BL news stories. There's now a book out called Boys Love Pose Sketch Compilation. It's essentially, as it sounds, a book of different poses from BL. Boys holding each other, the backward hug, the, uh, I guess, piggyback, things like that, which you can sketch and copy and make your own. This book is out, you can buy it on Amazon, though only on Japan's Amazon. It's not translated into English. Link in the description, go check it out. It's about 25 US dollars equivalent around there. Once again, it's not translated for English. Uh, once again, it's only found on the Amazon in Japan, so it would probably get to you in like a month. But if you really want it, you can get it. Go check it out. Next, Kitorojime, My Hero, is becoming an anime. That'll be coming out pretty soon, actually. If you guys don't know, Hitorajime My Hero is uh, based off of a manga. It's a spin-off of a different manga, which I'm so kind of surprised they're doing the spin-off first. This, the original manga was the kind of cliche-ish, kind of typical story of a high school boy who's kind of shy, who falls in love with another high school boy who's kind of mean, right? And then the spin-off follows the best friend who's now in love with the older brother of the original character. Uh, and they've known each other for a while. The best friend kind of idolized the older brother, who used to be a delinquent, is now a teacher. Uh, so it kind of just... It's actually interesting. I think the spin-off is better than the original, which is why they probably did that. But uh, go check it out if you haven't... If you're not gonna wait for the anime, go check out the manga first. And in addition, if you want to check out this anime, there is a trailer out. It's not much. And they've also announced that the anime will be coming out in this summer. So, that's cool. Lastly, Two Moons the Series, which stars two actors from Part Time the Series, actually has a trailer out. Go check it out. It's essentially the love story of three college romances, all uh, gay, all BL. So, three different romances, all college students. Go check it out, trailer in the description. It's actually translated by one of the QF followers. Thank you for that. And that's it for this weekly update. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about any of these news stories and more. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and to subscribe if you haven't already. Where Fidachi tries to share LGBTQ and BL media through news and views and good conversation. So let's get talking. Bye. Of the I'm getting confused because I don't know. No, Cortana. No, Cortana, I didn't want... Okay. I'm sorry, Cortana's just all up in my business right now. Anyway.